Hello everybody, my name is Josh Dom Drastic, and today we are going to be watching Nukes Top 5. Today's video is called 5 Ghost Videos. So scary, you will, or you'll, regret watching. Which is kind of interesting, because I thought he already had that kind of title. But, you know, I don't know. I guess he didn't. I guess he didn't already have that as a title on one of his videos. So, now we're going to watch it. And, yeah. The video is 18 minutes long. Uh, I have my water with me. Make sure you have your water. That's always important. Anyways, guys, as always, if you enjoy this kind of content, leave a like on the video. It's much appreciated. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Josh, and this is what I do. I react to videos. And if you enjoy that kind of content, consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends so that I may grow and we can all watch awesome videos together. And if you have any suggestions of any videos that you would like me to watch, go down in my comments below put the link to the video and I will watch your video anyways let me say this I have a big project coming up uh, I, I it might take I don't know how long this video might take me that I'm going to work on but I really want to do it and just to see if I can do it so some days I might actually not have a video up and I'm sorry but I'm working on this thing, and I know all of you will enjoy it. Or at least I hope all of you will enjoy it. Uh, I know I will. And, yeah. So. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Dun 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 You ready, you ready? Top 5 Ghosts. Caught on camera. Strange Brew. Strange popular YouTube group. ghost hunting team Twin Paranormal are invited Them to again. investigate the allegedly haunted Cutthroat Brewing Company in Markleyville, California. All right. Originally built in 1862, the building has been through many changes over the last 158 years. The structure has served as a hotel, a bar, a restaurant, and for a time, even as a temporary doctor's office and morgue. Through the years, owners, employees, and visitors to the Cutthroat Brewing Company have frequently witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. They say that bottles and chairs in the bar sometimes just move on their own. Many have seen and heard the dark apparition of a woman wearing heels pacing back and forth in front of the windows on the second floor. Nah, and I'm some good. have spotted the menacing figure of a man standing behind the restaurant's bar. Mm. Once, Lovely. a grandmother brought her very young granddaughter along with her to visit a friend who worked at the Cutthroat. When they reached the upper floor of the building, the toddler Wait. seemed to start playing. Wait, a grandmother brought her child into a bar? What? A grandmother brought a child who just wasn't there. Her child into the bar. Interesting. Interesting laughing and talking to this invisible child. Oh, lovely. The little girl kept calling out the name Sophie over and over while playing. I don't like that. Her mother said that she didn't know anyone named Sophie, and she didn't know where the child could have even heard that name. Twin paranormal team Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick are staying at the Cutthroat Brewing Company overnight to try to capture some of the location's intense paranormal activity. All right. They decide to place a ball at the top of the staircase to potentially trigger the spirit named, quote, Sophie to play with it or move it. All right. As soon as we got here, we wanted to do a quick little test. Um, I had mentioned to Wyatt that I wanted to put a ball at the top of the stairs just to see what would happen. And literally, we have the clip. Did anybody hear that step right there? I had heard it say left, and then I heard like a, a, a footstep right here. Literally right here. The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball. Thank you! It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you! It's okay. It's okay. Are you up there? And if you're thinking that the ball placed on the step's edge was just bound to fall anyway, well, it should be noted that Ryan did test to make sure that the ball wouldn't just fall over on its own. You you filmed us uh, stomping next to Yes, right? I did. Yes, I did. So they try the ball test again. We hear you upstairs. 
Use your energy. Kick that ball. Or you can tell. Oh, oh! Sorry. Oh, everybody's gonna make fun of me for that one. I'm sorry, it, it just really scared me because it caught me off guard. It really did. This time the ball bounces back down the steps as if on command. He's so scared. The team gathers their courage so and asks scared. the spirits that haunt the Cutthroat Brewing Company some questions. Oh, trust me, man, I'd be scared too. Box. It's fine. It's fine. They get some very strange answers. It's fine, I'd be scared too. But what they don't it's know okay. is that one of their stationary cameras captures something truly chilling. Yeah, it's fine. Who's uh, here with us? Tonight? I would have been a. As we were asking our questions towards the front of the building, one of our night vision cameras pointing towards the back door had picked up what looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building. If you look close, this man-like figure starts to form his body and then his head right after. Then he turns his head facing our direction before exiting out the back door. So, That's what do you think? Did the ghost of a child Is that it? Sophie roll the oh, ball down the stairs? Come on, man. Could the strange figure be the spirit of the man people claim to have seen behind the bar? I don't know. And if not, just who or what is this? You can watch the all new part two Give of the Cutthroat Brewing Company investigation over on the Twin Paranormal YouTube channel. Mm. The John Lowe Murder House. Oh no, no. In 2014, 82 year old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. Oh, uh, did he? In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66-year-old girlfriend, Christine Lee, and her daughter, Lucy, at his family home in Surrey, England. Why? Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. The sudden strange and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the quote, John Lowe murder house. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Yo. Together with YouTube ghost hunters proving demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. Really? Interesting. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy Whoa, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? Dead. The shocking spirit box replies seem to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Hold on, hold on now. Could it be a car on the road? Did she just grab me? my back? No, I didn't grab your back. Why? Video? No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I swear I like, didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding, I didn't touch you? Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab your back. The camera. And my other hand's in my his pocket. Hand in his pocket. There was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mist seems to rise up and away from yeah, her. Yeah, okay. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. Uh, yeah, because it's not. Hold on, hold on. Uh, again, I don't do with orbs. I don't do with mist. Be a cat on the road. I sent it just grab my back. Uh, no, I didn't grab your back. Yeah. After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders mm. channel, keen eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Mm. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage really, why? that I've seen. Because being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, 
And then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched. Well, it all seems very hard to fake. But of course, I could be wrong. Interesting. Let me know what you think. I don't know. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The hills have eyes. Amr from the popular YouTube channel Amr slash 3AMR travels to the site of several abandoned buildings in the middle of nowhere in Saudi Arabia. Oh, sounds wonderful. Amr believes that the site he's exploring has been used to perform occult rituals and is a place used by witches. Oh, lovely. As soon as he starts exploring, he begins to feel uncomfortable. Does he? And with good reason. It seems like he's not alone. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like it. Yo! Yo, I'm lit. Whoa, that was. Yep, every hair on my body stood up. My eyes immediately started watering. That was. That was nasty, dog. والله ما كان يطمن في فراش سمعنا كثير that was that was someone or something with glowing eyes seems to be staring at Amr from inside one of the buildings when he runs over no one there he searches through the entire building but finds absolutely nothing that is powerful the figure with glowing eyes seems to have mysteriously disappeared without a sound Amr continues on to one of the other creepy buildings, that but is, he still that is, feels like he's being watched. That was powerful. That was... Oh, I saw him. I see it. It's right there. I see the eyes. Whoa, Bismillah. Creepy. That's creepy because it's like powerful and I don't like it. It's Bismillah. Bismillah. It just gives me the goosebumps. And he runs towards it. And it's still there and now it's gone. He's running to go inside. Is it the same building? Uh, I can't tell. There's a bat in there. Interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Nothing's there. What? That thing would be massive. Yo. It's pro it's the bat, man. Calm down. It's probably the bat. I've never heard of hearing someone move. It's the bat, isn't it? I think it's the bat. I guess he didn't see it when he ran in. That's fine. I I, I would figure that he probably wouldn't see it if he ran in. He was too busy focused on getting in. Then. Yeah, how would you? How would you do that? I don't even think you could. I'm like freaking Again, out. Again, a figure that with was... glowing eyes seems to be staring at him. This time from one of the windows of a building further away. He can't believe his eyes, and again he charges toward the building, and again he finds nothing. nothing. Things now begin to take a darkly sinister turn. Why? As it seems the strange shadow figures are all around him. Uh oh. Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh, I see it. Bismillah. I see one there. Bismillah. 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 Yo, that's Bismillah. weird. Oh, I don't like that. Bismillah. Oh, he's gone. Eh, nope, nope, nope. Run! Time to go. Time to go. There's one in the. 
Amr starts to hear terrifying sounds from all directions. He decides to just get out of uh, there. Uh, hello? He just walked in up. Right there? Oh no, never mind, that was just a bunch of lights. Amr starts to hear terrifying sounds from all directions. He decides to just get out of there. So what do you think these bizarre dark figures could be? I don't know! Is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know! You decide. Just around the corner. Whatever it is, it's creepy. YouTube channel Lego Papa TV travels to the abandoned Letchworth Village Mental Asylum in New York. The village consists of 130 buildings and served as an asylum for the physically and mentally disabled for over 100 years. The institution was permanently closed down in 1996 after thousands of reports of patient abuse. The patients, most of them children, were found unclothed, unbathed, malnourished, and neglected. Hundreds of patients lost their lives at the Letchworth Asylum and were buried in nameless graves near the institution. Wow. Levy from Lego Papa TV is investigating the now abandoned Letchworth Asylum with his wife Kathy. When they get to the area that used to be the hospital morgue, Kathy sees something very strange in one of the doors. What? Wait. What? I don't see anything. Turning up yeah. brightness. Engage. No. What was that? Wait, Chris. Hello? Don't look. Look. Yeah, I'm standing up. Um, that's serious. When you point to this way, I saw this. Yeah. I like somebody was like this and one like this. Now, unfortunately, they didn't capture what she saw on camera. Yeah. Okay. So, Levy decides to set up a static night vision camera to record the hallway where his wife saw the strange figure. Hours after he sets up the camera, he catches something. Downright chilling. <sighs> Stretching the muscles, engaging them. What? Was it that? Was that it? it was the boom? What was that? Ooh. What? what looks to be the malformed apparition of a person seems to peek around the corner and then simply disappear back into the darkness. Could this be the spirit of one of the patients that passed away at the Letchworth Asylum? That's weird. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? What would that be? You decide. That's weird. I don't want like that. Rise. I don't TikTok know. user Joe Vrola is at home with his girlfriend when he hears something strange coming from somewhere in their apartment. Since they have experienced unexplained activity in their home before, he takes out his camera and starts recording as he goes to check out the sound. It did not go well. What are you doing? I think I heard something. What the? Jesus Christ! What? Did you see it? A floating figure seems to rise up out of the chair, disappearing into nothing. But Joe actually seems to be a bit more freaked out by the sudden appearance of his girlfriend. What the? Jesus Christ! What? Now what do you think this strange floating figure is? Is it a ghost? Or is it just some very good special effects work? You decide. In the shadows. Reddit user A. Perez submitted this know. next video to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit. Is this an extra video? He claims the video was originally shared to Facebook by his niece, Jamie, who had recorded her children playfully jumping on her new bed. But when the video was posted, friends and family were very quick to point out that there was something very strange going on in the video that Jamie hadn't noticed at the time of the recording. Which was... When she reviewed the footage, she was shocked. Something in the window? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the window, guys. I'm sorry, I can't I can't notice that she's moving too much. If something just came out of the window or underneath the bed, I'm sorry, I couldn't see it. I'm going to have to have Nuke pointed out because I can't see it. I'm looking all over the place. 
Oh, nope, never mind. Whoa. Saw it. Yep, Whoa. yep. Mm. We're good. Did you see it? Yeah. Right before she ends the video, while still distracted by her children, a shadow can be seen lurking in the bathroom, seemingly hiding behind the door. Like that. What makes this footage even more bizarre is that even though there's enough light to slightly illuminate the bathroom, the figure does not seem to have any facial features that catch the light. Yeah. Even when the footage is brightened and enhanced, there are still no facial features or details visible in the bizarre shadow figure. Why does it look like so the is this creepy closing? footage real or fake? I don't Let know. me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on yeah. Twitter for. You hear that? It's raining outside. I love it when it rains. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Anyways, guys, I enjoyed that quite a lot, and I hope you did too. That was awesome. I enjoyed that so much. Nuke makes amazing videos. Even when he doesn't jump scare me, he still makes amazing videos. Anyway, get any well blah 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 blah. Anyways, guys. Stay strong, everyone. Stay safe. Wear your seatbelt, wear your helmet, wear your mask. Don't point the flashlight behind you. Don't look into haunted mirrors. And just don't mess with ghosts. And as always, have a nice day.